Press the red button. Do it again. There you go. Look at that boy getting money. Good job. You gonna do it again? Press the red button to get jammed. Good, that boy. Man. Men, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I start giving a fuck as soon as I give a damn. Listen to me. If she have a baby daddy or baby daddies, then you're sharing that pussy nine times out of ten. You are sharing that pussy. It's a connection that baby mothers have the baby daddies, whether they dead beats. They got to do something very terrible in order for them to close their leg up permanently for their baby daddy. They can find a man. They can get a man. They can be faithful or they can uh, restrain from their baby daddy dick for months, for years, but not forever. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Not forever. And I know a lot of you guys thinking, Oh, I'm her other baby daddy too, Lord. Oh my God. His baby mama's got fucked. Uh, not that I know of. But I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm just telling y'all the truth. And you would never know. I know you thinking he's married now so you don't have to worry about him. Are you married to her now? You don't got to worry about that. But the same feelings that she had for you and raw dogging you and kissing you was once him. Now, I know you got situations that incest and girls, you know, been raped and girls been, you know, uh, with a guy that was a lame or, you know, they ain't interested in their baby daddy. That's a select few. You ain't got to worry about fucking with them. But that girl that was in a relationship with this dude or she had a crush on this dude or she was just his little fuck buddy he could forever fuck now you got that one girl that really done fell in love with somebody else and she won't let him fuck no more until until what until you die or go to the hospital or you on a trip or until you cheat or she wants some revenge I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all. I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all. Secondly, secondly, I'm just giving y'all guys insight. Secondly, these old men are winning. These guys in their 50s, 60s, they are fucking these women like hell. A lot of these bad bitches that's in their 20s and 30s, they baby daddies in their late 40s and 50s and shit. Girls love an established man that won't talk, that got his own everything. And you guys develop way later than females. You guys don't start getting your shit together to about 35, 40, 50. Girls want an older guy to keep an older guy to cut. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, you're looking at the neighbor. You're looking at... Uh, this guy over there. No, I'm telling you the three guys she's going to cheat with. Third, but not least, her co-worker. It's so much sex in the workplace. I don't think I never worked at a place that I ain't had sex at with women that was married to the manager and women that was married to the CEO and things like that. So you guys be looking at the neighbor, y'all be looking at the mailman, y'all be looking at the exes, y'all be looking at uh, the guys that y'all think that's a threat. But the real threat is that co-worker that be speaking to you, but that's her work husband. The real threat is that old man that you think cutting her lung or her daddy friend that's blowing her fucking back out. The real threat is the baby daddy that you cool with and he at the events and he's still fucking the shit out of her. I'm sorry to tell y'all that, but that's what's accumulating. That's the reason why she don't know who the baby daddy is. That's the reason why she don't know what to choose. That's the reason why it's so easy for her to walk away because a woman keep three to four, five options. So you would never know about them three guys 
Because most women have them. The baby daddy not going to tell. He's not going to tell because they got a connection. They feel like this is supposed to be going on. The old man not going to tell. That's why she fucking him. Because he done learn how to be silent. He done learn how to get some money. He learned that the woman don't want nothing but money. And he got it. And he wants some sugar from that sugar baby. And she got it. And he getting it. Then you got that co-worker. You make her mad every day. He make her smile every day. A person feel comfortable by the more time you spend with a person. She is spending more time with this guy at work than she is with you at home. She more comfortable with him. That's why she's fucking him. The qualities that she see in you, she don't see in him. You lazy on the couch. At least he'll work. She comfortable. And this man is shaking your hand and giving you love when you pull up to the job. But he's tearing that pussy up. So them is the three type of dudes that your girl is cheating with. It's time in her life that she be celibate. It's time in her life she only fucking two out of the three. One out of the three. Three out of the three. But guys, these are guys that you have to look at because I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a perfect, perfect, perfect example. Perfect example. I got to watch what I say because niggas so tender dick now. They so fucking pussy. It's crazy, bro. You can say uh, um, he ain't got no money. Somebody swear out that you're talking to him. Like they that fucking important. Lame ass niggas. Watch your fucking videos just to talk about it. Lame. Them, that's some lame gay ass shit. But with that said. With that said. Alright. So. If y'all want a part two of this video. Then put part two, part two. Guys. Listen. Go on ahead. Don't be scared. In the comment section say. I was cheated on by the baby daddy. I was cheated on by an old man. Uh, I, the last video I talked about old men, it was two or three old men got on there and said, yeah, I'm that type of guy that be hitting them. I'm telling you, how do I know this? How do I know this? I charge $100 for fake times calls. 73% in my, what my accountant showed me is guys. Most of the guys that I talk to are older guys asking me, uh, they fucking this 20 some year old or, you know, 19 year old or 30 some year old. And they want to know, you know, should they keep giving them money or not? You know, and they'll send a picture. She better than a bitch. Um, a lot of calls I get, I'm fucking my coworker. I think I got feelings for her. <sighs> a lot of the calls I get, hey man, that's my baby mom and I'm still fucking her. I'm telling you, I get 10 calls a day. Then the women that I get. If it's 73%, then it's 73%. I mean, if it's 73% then it's 27% of women, what do I hear? I feel bad. I'm fucking my coworker. What should I do? My baby daddy, I still in love with him. What should I do? Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. I'm praying that my 50 year old Belize got his own stuff. So you guys, why do you think your baby mama or your girl or the girl you got, she work a nine to five? And she broke, but she got a nice ass house, nice ass cars. That old man doing that shit. Reason why she can say fuck you because she got that guy at work she fucking, and she got that baby daddy she fucking, and that old man. That pussy, only, man, what a car get 200,000 miles on a Honda or something like that. You might get about three, 400,000 miles. These bitches pussy over 200,000 miles and you guys wifey in these hoes. And these ain't no good ass miles. Hell no. Them miles get put on by old ass Cadillac. A terrible ass baby daddy. All that man, you guys better quit wifey in these hoes. With that said, like, comment, subscribe. 
Y'all have a blessed day. Really subscribe. Really subscribe. Really subscribe. Check out my old videos. Subscribe and hit the bell notification. In the comment section is my TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook. It's at the Real Tab Flames. I made it easy for y'all on all three social media platforms. Follow me on there. Really follow me on there. And like my last 10 posts, I will return the love. I'm talking about on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. It's at the Real Tab Flames. It's in the comment section, in the description. Everything that you need to know, follow me on all my social platforms. With that said, y'all have a blessed day. I holler. Sorry if I broke some of your heart, but I'd rather give y'all the ugly truth than a pretty lie. Holler, gang. Be stoic eyes. All she want is money. I don't care who she is. I don't care where she from. All she want is money, even if she got money. These 2024 women going into 2025 is off the chain. You hear me? All she want is money. All she want is money, them blue face hunnids. You understand? A woman would rather have a guy that she's not attracted to with a whole bunch of money that can provide instantly than a guy that she's very attracted to that don't have no money, that he got the weight or can't provide at all. And this video is going to be real, real disgusting, but it's the honest truth about the 2024 bags. You understand? So if y'all don't mind, only if y'all don't mind, I'm going to count a whole bunch of money. I ain't trying to stun on you fellas. I'm just trying to show you fellas how you can get plenty money and everything will come to you. You become a king like what's on my Adam's apple. You understand? You become stoic. And then you get to see how many women that you couldn't get, you can get now. How many women that said no, that say yes now. How every door is opened up for you and to you and with you and for you or whatever. That's including legs and mouth. Guys, once you get a whole bunch of money, girls will just come through or fly down and suck your dick without getting no motherfucking, no motherfucking dick at all. But they get a nut because they so obsessed with you that they just bust on themselves. I done had women that done sat in my lap with all their clothes on. They busted a nut on themselves. I done had women that done suck my dick. They'll tell you in the comment section like, Sucking dick can make a girl come. I'm telling you, like, no bullshit. Like, like I promise you, like, ever since I got rich, bro, I literally, like, probably done smashed about 10 chicks. And I done got hit from, like, a 1,000. And these girls come from miles away. I don't got to drive it. A bitch will hit you up and be like, yo, I stay in, like, Atlanta. I stay in L.A. I want to catch a flight. Bitch, you ain't getting none of my money, huh? You better foot your own flight. And they love that type of shit. Then I hear about passport bros be motherfucking going overseas to find pussy. All this pussy over here in the United States. That's the fucking problem. I can't fuck all these damn hoes. You niggas need to get some money for you can fuck these hoes. Ain't no such thing as a goddamn ugly ass dry dick millionaire. Ain't no such thing as a damn funny looking damn billionaire. Now let me break this shit down for real, for real. All jokes aside, and I'm finna get back to the counting money. If y'all motherfuckers think this little three racks with goddamn some money, that's little money. Matter of fact, for y'all don't think these, y'all see them all hundred. Let's keep going for y'all don't think this man keep recounting the same money. And I'm sorry, my attitude is fuck it. Cause motherfuckers love it. I'm fucking up my collar. Let's keep going as we talk. Each one of these got ten hundreds in them. Ten hundreds is a thousand dollars. So I'm gonna talk to y'all. Guys, girls that's gold diggers are not gold diggers no more like you think. They disguise themselves. Um, how can I best explain it? You know how back in the day, pimps and whores, they used to stand on the corner and get charges for pimping and pampering, and they get more charges for, you know, little different things. Here go 
stack number four going up there, you guys. You can buy a bitch a small car, a little single wide trailer with this that's literally on my neck. Not to mention, not to mention, y'all can add it up. 3500 14k. I think this was like 2800 Big old Cuban, you hear that bitch? These diamonds getting covered up, these DVDs, nigga. Nigga, everything 14k. So I got like literally uh girls can smell that. That's why they call female dogs bitches. Because they can sense things, no matter how bad you fake. They can smell their real BBS diamonds or flawless diamonds. Bitches can tell if you really get money. They can smell it. They can smell it. So, in cash, I got four grand on my neck. In jewelry, I got about 10000 on my neck. They love it. But I don't give a fuck what they love. I do it because I want it. And I don't give a fuck. That guy to get money... He ain't scared to take no risk. That guy to get money, he don't give a fuck. Getting money says a lot about you. You're focused. Everybody can't get money. Most guys are living off women. The girls that come my way, usually because a man is broken, they tired of doing everything them fucking selves. A girl pussy can't get me so wet when she busting her ass every day, all day doing everything by herself. I support four fucking households besides myself, and it turned girls the fuck on. So, now that we done, y'all can do what y'all want to do. The, the haters will say he got four grand on his neck, right? Right? That's what the haters will say. The people that fuck with me and say, shit, that look like 14 on his neck. But guess what? Oh, this shit falling. Y'all see me caught that shit? We can recount it. Hold up. Hold up. We can recount it now. Let's go. We can recount it. But, but, but for all the haters... They thought I was capping. This is what we're going to do, y'all. This is what we're going to do. Y'all want y'all to pay attention. This is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take this Gucci bag. Y'all see the Gucci. We're going to take this Gucci bag. You get real Gucci. That's what it'll look like, you guys. We're going to take these $4,000 and all hundreds, and we're going to send them in this Gucci bag, right? This is what we're going to do this Gucci bag. Y'all watch this Gucci bag, right? As I explain to y'all about women. Watch this Gucci bag, right? And make sure that you don't see me go back in it. So what we're going to do, we're going to see this Gucci bag right here, right? There's four racks in there, right? But I'm still on the talking, you know? I want to shoot the shit with y'all. So, you know, once you realize that money rule the world, right? You be like, bro, is it that easy? Girls that used to not pay me no attention... And leave me on R E A D. They now pay attention, and I lead them on R E A D. Um, girls start telling you stuff like, uh, "God, how can I get money like that?" Or, you know, I'm not a money girl. Don't think I'm hitting you up about money. You know, and you just be like, "Yeah," because you're not getting none. Guys, listen. The same nails you got. I'm. I'm sorry to be honest. The same nails that you got her. The same nails that you got her. That you bust your heart, earn money, or risk your life, or whatever the fuck you done. After she get done, if she even jack your dick. After she get done getting you a nut, she gonna use those same fucking fingernails to go to another nickel. I promise you, that's just how life works. I'm not finna do that. The same car payment you paid. You're not the only one riding in that. Another nigga. Long story short, another nigga gonna benefit off of you. Because think about you. That's why I be trying to tell guys about females. If y'all see a female, y'all listen to this game. If y'all see a female, right? Right? If y'all see a female and the chick is literally uh, got a badass body, but you like BBWs, but she got a slim, thick body, you still gonna say, oh shit, she got a slim, thick body. You can like real skinny girls and see a girl with a slim, thick body. You can like, God damn, she got a nice body. A nice body is a nice body. Same thing for women. If they see a guy with a nice body, they think he got a nice body. Whether they like beer bellies, whether they like skinny guys, she still notice a nice body. So just like we can be fucking a girl, the pussy and head can be fire. Us eating her pussy and our dick can be fire. But she also want to try new shit. I love Chipotle, but sometimes I got to get long horn. No homo, no diddy. I'm sorry, look at what Didi done. You think he could have done this if he wasn't a billionaire? You think Kanye could get 
these girls to be submissive if he wasn't a billionaire? All right, what about all these 20 versus ones? At first, it started off with popping ass rappers. Now, they'll use anybody because these girls will do anything as long as they get clout because they think clout equals money. Let me tell you what's on the 2024 girl mind. How can I get on the baddie girl club? How can I get clout? How can I get more likes? How can I get more followers? Oh my God, I need money. Listen, man, these girls be so broke and I don't understand how they're so pretty. So let's not forget this money shit. And if you want money, then you need to type in Global Dripping Money Harders. That's H-O-A-D-E-R. I run a whole money getting channel how to get you 30 racks for $500 in three days. I'm not going to hold you. Um, you can contact me if you want the money. If you want to invest that little bullshit in yourself and you get all these racks like I got, then you can have motion just like I got motion and put part two, part two. You just can't have racks. I got to show you how to use them, how to post them, what to do and how to do it for you can just attract every woman and make them obsessed and not give her a dime. See, guys, the whole thing is not giving her a dime. That's what's turning her on. So, guys, as you see, y'all see me with this in my hand. Now, I'm about to pull this out. Y'all watching. Y'all watching. I'm about to put this. That's five racks. I'm putting this with this. Now, I'm putting it back in the bag. Y'all see, for y'all that think I'm playing, y'all see all those extra hundreds. Y'all see all of that, right? So now it's going back in the bag, and that's going back in my back over my shoulder. But guess what? I ain't done talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna hold y'all too long because I could talk for 24 hours and I won't run out of money. This is just some money that I ain't put up yet. I said, let me go ahead and just show guys how important money is to women. Because to me, I don't care about it. it. Don't get you into heaven. It don't make you no closer to God. Unless you stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. But you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. So, it ain't nothing to me. I just realized that people didn't care. When I was broke, nobody cared. Family didn't even care. When I was broke, nobody called. Nobody called. When I was broke, um, I had girls because I always been tall, you know, and uh, always been, you know, an alpha male. So, they like a nigga that don't give a fuck. Before I had money, I knew I was going to have it, long story short. And I carried myself as such. I manifested it. And I worked hard for it. You know what I'm saying? And then after you do that and you be on your purpose, shouts out the Alpha Male Strategy, AMS. He been teaching guys for over damn 10 years plus on how you put yourself first. But with that said, don't let me keep on holding y'all. You know what I'm saying? I try to stop at five. I try to stop at five racks. I'm going to try to stop at five racks. No, that was five racks. I just put in there. This six. I'm sorry, y'all. The whole point was to stop at five. I didn't know I had extra. I had an extra two, three, four, five, six thousand on me. My bad. But anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all too long. But I'm just going to break it down. I think it done just playing a little bit. But uh, it failed. Y'all see it failed, but I still got this in my hand. It failed. It's going right back up. I know these haters is watching. So with that said, guys, um, that girl that left you on red, she just, you just ain't got enough money. That girl that you smashed, but you can't smash that one, you ain't got enough money. Um, the girl that say she don't do money or she don't fuck with money or nothing about that. She got her own money. You ain't got enough money. I'm going to give y'all a little story. I know a rich woman, right? We're going to, this six racks, right? I know a rich woman. A rich woman now. This woman is running for council. I ain't gonna say what state, but she running for council, a big old, you know, she running for a big old position. She get likes out the galore, out the ass. She got a blue check. She ain't got not one picture with her ass out. Oh my bad, like I forgot. Six racks in the thing. She ain't got one picture with her ass out. She ain't got one picture with no little skirt on. She ain't got no thirst traps. She ain't got, if y'all find any bill less than a 20 in this bitch, then my mama's a bitch. And I love my mama to death. If you know my mama, I don't play about my mama. So with that said, I'm going to still be talking to y'all, but I can't get off track. So with that said, guys, anyway, this girl ain't got no thirst trap, no nothing. And this girl get all the lights just because the position she in, right? 
right? Now she can no longer, I know her personally, she can no longer, no longer run anymore because they done got footage of her. She went to a concert. They had Rob 49. They had uh, Skiller Baby. And uh, speaking of Skiller Baby, and uh, they had somebody else. And this is the second time I done heard this. So shouts out to Skiller Baby because this is the second time I done heard something like this happen. Was it a council? No, but I heard about a good girl that had a good rich man that lost her man that night because she wanted to be on Skiller Baby too much. But that's what I'm telling you guys. Your girl won't cheat with him down the road. He ain't got enough. He ain't worth it. She won't cheat with him over there or at the job. But your little baby, Skiller Babies, the baby, the baby, all these motherfucking rich ass niggas such as myself, Tab Flames, Global Dripping, all these niggas that can give it to you instantly, can give it to you instantly? Man, y'all don't trust these hoes. Listen, let me tell y'all something a real nigga told me. Let's say, and this gonna hurt y'all hard, and I'm gonna end the video, man, because this this real life shit, and I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to tell y'all this. A story got crying. Y'all make sure y'all get footage of this. I'm sorry to tell y'all this, but I know y'all love y'all kids, but it's a scientific fact. That a lot of you broke nigga kids belong to a motherfucking rich nigga. He's getting the pussy while you paying the child support. He's getting the head while you paying the child support. You think she gonna tell you? The same guy you pull up to get your three fives from, you fucking peon. She looking at the man like he got pounds. The same guy you pulling up to get your little eight ball, your seventh. Bro, she looking at him like he God. Bro, whenever you pull up in your little ass, ragged ass car, he pull up in this goddamn fast motherfucking form. I'm telling you, money just talking several different ways, man. The real don't look fake and the fake don't look real. Now, with that said, this buy two, three grand worth of twins, right? But let's just say, right, what is it, six in here? That's seven. And I told y'all I was going to stop at five. Let's just say that um, a bitch wanted to take a picture. You know, I get a lot of bitches want to take a picture. I also I also write books, guys, uh, children books. I'm all over your elementary schools. Uh, I also do music. Uh, I got about 15 music videos out. Y'all, I do it all. That's why, you know, the Lord opened up the kingdom of wealth for me. You understand what I'm saying? With that said, though, y'all see all this. I just say that I don't want to fuck with that. I got a cool, what's that about? It ain't nothing like 500 in this pocket. Like, bro, like, and I forgot about this. And this here was sitting out because I ain't put it up. I can't make this shit up. So, guys, it's like, if I can explain to y'all, just these little twins, right? Matter of fact, fuck it, fuck it. Let's pull out these little six right here. Let's pull out these little six. So, I'm going to just show y'all something, right? I'm going to show y'all this is real reality. And, and this is going to really fuck you guys up because this is real reality. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it like this. This is, I think it's like $7,000. I'm not sure. I, I, I got a money counter. The money counter accounted. Who gives a fuck how much it is? I don't give a fuck. Maybe I want to grab my money counter. I might do it at the end of the video. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, um, and fake bills do not go through no money counter as well. I want y'all to know that. So anyway, um, with that said, and y'all check out the clarity on them big boys. You understand? Y'all check out the clarity on them big boys. I don't don't think. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't think. So anyway, with that said, I got a little bit off track. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how women not even trying to be funny. They only doing what's best for them. Who wouldn't do what's best for themselves? So with that said, I'm just going to show y'all the difference. 
All right, now in this hand, I think it's like seven, eight racks. I'm not sure, I don't give a fuck about no money. So with that said, now right here, I told y'all this was literally uh like three, four hundred dollars. I'm not sure, I don't know, don't give a fuck, but let's see, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. Matter of fact, that's 280. This guy been working all week to make 280, right? His girl want 100. And that ain't much just to get her nails done, right? That's going into another rich man's pocket. You see that, right? It's going to another. Rich. So now he's left with this. What's that? 180? Man. He going to spend that on a 3.5 and a bottle for them. He can't pay the bills or nothing with this. So, fuck it. We behind, but we probably living free, but we need food, but we got stamps. So, in her mind, they living off of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And let me show you how this go. He broke. So, this is going to be a lot of arguments, a lot of fussing, a lot of cheating, a lot of name callings, a lot of stressing. A lot of Xanaxes, a lot of perks, a lot of alcohol, a lot of whatever the fuck vices they got. Not a lot because this ain't shit. And each time, the three five gone, let's go to another rich man. Oh, God, you got to buy some gas. They go to another rich gas station. Oh, shit. You got about a whole nother four days before you get paid. So guess what? Your family... Tired of eating at the house. She tired of cooking. You gonna get some KFC today, baby. Now you got this left. And you won't even say this. Because you know that it's Wednesday. And you get paid on Thursday. So you finna make the old lady happy, right? And you finna go ahead and buy another three five, And you finna get another bottle. And get her some little roses. And let's do it again next week. Now... Let me show you the difference now. <clears throat> His girl asks things like this. If you can, could you get my nails done? If you don't mind, could you do this X, Y, Z? Small things to the minimum. Niggas like me get asked stuff like this. Can you invest in me? Can you buy me this building? Can you fund me going through school? Can you uh, get me a car? Can you buy me a house? That's the difference. And this is the difference. Women loyalty, I ain't say faithfulness. Listen to me clear. Women loyalty, when it come to money and you put them in position, you show that bitch how to fish. You just don't give a little... Huh? No, you show her how to fish. This girl can be sucking a dick. She's going to leave that dick to come to this. She could be on a date or a vacation. She's going to leave to come to this. Once you put a bitch in position, I got about 10 girls that I don't have to talk to. I don't have to see them every day. We don't even talk. But I know whenever I call, they gonna come no matter where they at or what they doing. She could be in church, she gonna leave. She could be at the hospital, she gonna leave. She could be in the grave, that bitch gonna resurrect. I lie to you not. I just, well, nah, that's a, that's a lie. I haven't seen nobody resurrect, but damn sure have. I done seen them leave the hospital for me. I done seen them leave their husband for me. I be begging these bitches, stay. I got another bitch that'll come. I'm honest with them. But with that said, God, with that said, man, get you some cash. And niggas know I ain't lying. So I must tell y'all, I'm the realest motherfucking dating coach ever. Because let me tell you what they saying on the streets. I'm just going by what they saying on the street. Not on the streets. I'm on what they saying in the YouTube world. They saying it's this new upcoming YouTuber. He's 6'8". This nigga got goals in his mouth. He wear chains. Look, this nigga talk crazy. 
He the first guy that told y'all, how y'all go no contact and ghost a baby mama? These niggas talking about no contact and ghosting. How you a real player you ain't got about five, six baby mamas? I don't want to hear nothing from no nigga ain't got no five, six baby mamas. I don't want to hear no shit like, niggas, you ain't really been playing out here. You just playing out here, nigga. Niggas will tell you, be on your purpose, get money. Nigga ain't show no car, ain't show no bad bitch. I be having bad bitches all through this bitch showing y'all. Y'all go check my shorts. Go check my shorts. Man, listen, man. Man, look, I'm just being honest. Y'all show me L dating coach that done pulled out damn near 10 racks just to show y'all. Well, I got to sit down and prove, like, I'm sitting there telling y'all, like, be on your purpose, but y'all just be listening to bullshit. Send all that traffic my way. Tell your homeboy, tell your homegirl, I know a nigga really doing this shit. You a stupid son of a bitch if you no contact and ghost a girl that you got kids with. Nigga, the reason why she's bitching and it's toxic because you ain't got enough money on You ain't got enough fatty chini. If you want girls to be submissive and obsessed with you, I'm talking about dime pieces. Asking you is they good enough. And you be looking at them like, what? Man, these girls be sucking my dick like I am the king ruler. And they be acting like they just ain't tell me two or three years ago that I'm good on you. I'm good on you. So anybody that follow me, go ahead. Go ahead, keep following, but get you some money. Watching videos don't do nothing but get me money. I monetize on that. Get you some money, man. I'm telling you, stop watching me. Go get some money. Or keep watching me and learn how to get some money. With that said, if you want to get this type of money and a lot more, I would just ask for the $500 package. We call it the come up package. Or... Or I would just subscribe to Global Dripping Money Hoarders because on every video, huh, I'm telling you how to get money. Like on this channel, I don't drop money videos. I don't drop uh, anything other than stuff about dating. Dating have a big part to do with money. Matter of fact, the bad boy's new movie just dropped. How you going to take her? Without that damn $60 that movie theater going to charge. How? Make it make sense. Now, with that said, you guys, have a blessed, nice, outstanding motherfucking day. I just want to show y'all that money make a bitch be submissive. Money make a woman be extra submissive. I'm talking about extra submissive. I have videos a badass Puerto Rican sitting right there over there on that chair. And they both told y'all. Y'all can go search you think I'm lying. They both told y'all. They said, the money that I know you got, you can do whatever you want. They was cousins. She said, yeah, you can fuck my cousin and kick me out. And you can fuck me kick out. And you can fuck with both of us together. As long as you got the money coming, you can do whatever you want. Why y'all think that it took so long? For so many people to get caught like these billionaires because money, you can do what you want. They call it hush money, man. Money, you don't pay the bitch to come. You pay her to leave. But see, I don't believe in paying them at all. Just being around me is your payment. I'm sorry. I don't even get gas. But girls don't care. They don't. They so crazy. They don't understand you being around a man with money. I ain't doing nothing for your bills. But they cool with it. They cool with it. That nigga that's home, he's doing everything for you. He just ain't got no money. And you doing everything behind his back and on him. I promise you, you may be broke. Your girl ain't. I promise you, but she you're going to ask her where this weed come from, where this money. A girl is not going without. I promise you. I promise you, and I'm going to say this before I go. This is what fucks my head up. I go a long time. I wish I was a minute man. But every girl I dick down, she always tap out. So I usually don't even get a nut. And these girls are getting 8, 9, 16 nuts. That's the highest I've seen so far with a squirtle. 
And they broke a lot of them. Beautiful broke bitches, right? They ain't got no money. So I got a whole bunch of money and I ain't even getting a nut. You think I give a fuck about a bitch? Now, last story. This girl right here is finer. She more beautiful than any. This bitch don't even fold. Look at that. It'll pop for it, fold. Look at that shit. But anyway, anyway. So she the most beautiful girl in the world, right? And I know she watched my channel, so I'm not going to embarrass her. So how can I say this? She called because she knows she pretty. And she was like, I know you don't give money to girls. And I like girls, too. And I hate asking somebody for something. And it was nothing but $600. She was like, can I please just get $600? And I'm thinking to myself, like, Hmm, y'all remember that's 60 to me, but $600 is like 60 to me, but $600 is still $600. So, hmm, hmm, think, uh, do she deserve it? What can I get out of her? Hmm, do I want to drop a video with her? No, it's all about money with me. What can I get out of her? Because I'm probably not going to get a nut because she's probably going to tap out. Big dick energy. Um, let me see. I said, what can I get out of this? Hmm. Hmm. So I decided it's no way I can get my 600 back. And because she already a beautiful dime piece. And the things that she telling me threw me off. She said, I just left the park. Every guy out there tried to holler at me. First thing crossed my mind. Well, why you broke? And the way her body shaped and the way she looked, she ain't telling no motherfucking lies. She said, I went to the police station. They told me don't even worry about the warning. Man, I bullshit you not. The way her body looked, I done pulled up on this girl one time. Her car was stuck in a ditch. It was so many goddamn cops out there. I thought it was a suicide. That bitch just had them out there. This bitch is bad than a bitch. But to me, she loved me to death because I don't give a fuck about her. These other niggas blowing her up. She just told me the other day, everybody blowing me the fuck up. What the fuck going on with you? And I'm going to tell y'all how stoic I am. Tell y'all how stoic I am. So anyway, this is what she told me. She said, listen. She was like, um, I'm going out with my homegirl and her boyfriend. And she got a white guy. And even though I'm half white, don't mean I'm going to be with a white guy. This is for black people only. I said black people or a black man? Black niggas. She put a plural on the internet. I said nothing because I'm stoic. I said definitely. She can't get 600 now. Huh? She's dumb because she's that beautiful and broke. Beautiful and broke. The double B's. Beautiful and fucking broke. So I said, oh my God. It'll make me, uh, my dick just <laughs> A broke bitch is nothing but a fire to me. I done told y'all that on the video I just dropped before this. So anyway, I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. So then bitches would keep talking so much. She just kept talking. She just kept talking. Then she just talked herself out of 600 motherfucking dollars. So then she ended up telling me her birthday this weekend. An uh, old guy in his 60s. This girl is 33 years old. He's flying her out to Las Vegas. And she'll be back Sunday. So I had my fingers crossed. I said, when she come back Sunday, I know she going to hit me up. Please hit me up with some money. She called me this morning. She the whole reason for this video. She called me this morning and said, hey, I'm back. I said, oh, I'm glad you made it back. She said, let me tell you something. I'm so stressed out. I said, hey, you just left a vacation? Ew, no. I went with that old man. I said, you ain't get shit. She said, yes. Y'all, listen, I don't mean no harm. I just held up a Gucci thing, yo. I'm not a designer junkie, but my cologne is Dior with my name on it. I wear Gucci. I wear Prada. I wear uh, 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 a Burberry, things like that. She said he bought her a Michael Kors purse, bought her a Coach purse. Um, she showed me receipt of a place they went to. The hotel was almost $2,000. So I asked her, I said, how much cash did you get? And she said, I didn't get no cash. 
I said, well, how are you going to get your car out the shop for $600 if you ain't got no cash? She said, God damn. I said, all those bags you got? And that 2000 you should have just got him to cash up you some. Well, you got to tell me, babe. I got to tell you how to survive, how to get money. I can't do nothing with you. She said, listen, please let me be in your kingdom. I can't, man, my right hand. She said, let me be in your kingdom. I said, nah, that's like a guy that got a whole bunch of muscles and a sword. And he don't swing that motherfucker. That's like a car that got four wheels, but the bitch won't roll. What's the fuck? Bitch, you got all this ass, all this beautifulness. And you can't make shit shake. And y'all, I know y'all saying, oh, what? Is she a prostitute? Nah. She fucking for free, though. Why fuck for free when you can get money? So a bitch that'll go get a Michael Kors purse and a coach purse and leave her car in the shop? I don't even want nowhere near me, gang. I just don't. So then she tells me this. Well, have a great day. And I'm petty, y'all. She said, because I seen you and it was at the bank and that lady had counted out a whole bunch of hundreds. I said, yeah. She said, and, and I need 600 and you know, I'm about to come stay with you tonight. And I said, you got to wait about three or four days to get that old nigga off you, that stench off you. She said, you think I slept with him? I said, whether you did or not, you got to get it off you. I said, but look, the next guy, make sure you get that 600 in your car. She said, actually, they charged me 55 days for it to stay there. So now, old lady said, I said, girl, you're beautiful. Is it a man or a woman? Because you eat pussy ass up there. Is it a man? It's a man. I said, you go tell that man. Is he blind? She said, no. Go tell him that you ain't paying 55 and give him a little wink with a little wiggle. She said, okay, I will. I'm about to tell the bitch how to get rich right quick. She said, okay. Well, just can you be my manager? Give me 20%. I told her I'm not a pimp because I don't try to catch no pimp and penalty charges. But I show you how to get money. Told her the same thing. Told her bitch that doesn't slop me off. Go to uh, Global Dripping, Money Harders. She said, oh, okay, I see it. You can get me back 30000 on everything. I said, yes, I can. She said, okay, well, I'm coming over now. I said, I don't have people to come over. Make sure you Apple Pay a cash app, that 500 She said, all that money you got? I said, yes. She said, come on now. She said, you know we go, uh-uh-uh. I said, I already got somebody laying in the bed. Send it or don't. She hung up. She'll call back, you know why? Because every fucking nigga she know ain't got that money on. Simple and plain. I'll holler, get you some money, gang.